go through the correct channels with things. You can't just p take the law into your own anyway, hands. Anyway, look, these cones have been here for years. These cones will be removed. If they are your property and you do want to keep them, I suggest you take well, them in. I don't in. suggest you remove them. If someone's going to remove them, I suggest the police or the council come down and have a discussion with us. So, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're here at Graphic Packaging International in Colville. And I've stopped here because all these cones. Now, there's no double yellows. There's no signs on the lampposts. So who's put these cones out here and removed the option for members of the public to park up? I'm not sure. I hope it's not this company here because they do look very professional. We've got a lovely building with a massive sign. A nice reception there as well. Reception, please use main entrance to the left. We've got lovely shrubbery on the front. Even got some planters. A ride on the front there, look. In the mouth. So do they want to keep this area clear for some reason? Should they be doing this? Oh, we have got a council sign here, North West Leicestershire Council. Your lorry and load are valuable. So there's no reason at all why vehicles cannot park here. So these cones should not be here in my opinion. Let's try and find out a little bit more. Now these ones have even got rope in between them and the council certainly do not do that. As that in itself is a health and safety risk at night time. So the double height barrier here with two extra posts there to stop you from walking through. At least they have closed the gap. The barrier should have been a little bit longer, <laughs> but they've got by it by doing that. Then we have an undercover canopy area where the forklift can do its business in the dry. That's great. Some pallets of something there. Can't quite make it out. A and A recycling services. So maybe that trailer is permanently there for the cardboard or plastic waste. I don't know. But not much else visible from this point so there is somebody now approaching us does look like a manager so let's see what he has to say shall we can I ask what you're doing? to me? can I ask what you're doing? Connie, do you want to come closer? yeah, come here, it's alright I said can I ask what you're doing? just getting some evidence Four. It's just about the cones, really. Oh, right. You know why they put them there, though, didn't you? Why, who's put them there? I don't know who's put them there, but I think it's something to do with Amazon. I know we've... I think someone said something to them about all their vehicles parking, and I think they come and put the cones there. I think. I'm not 100%. OK. I'm just here to make a difference on that matter, that's all. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, it's a pain in the fucking arse, you're right. Well... You do know that they've put, been put there without permission. Oh, well, that ain't, I don't think it's us. No, but if they're causing you a problem, yeah. then we're on the same side on this. Yeah. Oh, because right. do you know if vehicles are parked there? Surely you would prefer that to be clear for when oh, people definitely. turn in and out. Yeah, that's right. So it makes sense, doesn't I'm it? not on your side then, am I? Because if this goes my way, yeah. then the cones will be removed within two oh, right. weeks, well, which is not what you be. want. Well, yeah, yeah. well. I'm only asking because they said there's someone filming out here. Well, so the suspicion I'm... is that graphic packaging have put them there. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't be able to comment. Yeah. I'm, only, I'm only a finishing manager. I wouldn't know about what goes on around here. So you might see that overnight these cones disappear. So if they are your property... Oh, right. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll ask in there. I'll go and tell... I'll just let my boss know. You know, I'll just say to him... Because I've been like... What's that guy doing? Because you have mentioned that you thought Amazon had put them there. And that you said they were paying yeah. in the arse. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not sure. Well, that's what you said. I'm not, look, at the end of the day, they're there. I don't know why they're there. But my investigation yeah, fine. is you to find on. out as much I'm, information as possible. I, I know why you're in there. You, but you've given me something well, that, that goes against your company. 
Got what? Because you said they're a pain in the ass. No, I didn't say that. I said they're there and I don't know who's put them there. But I do know that they put cones along the front. Why are the cones there, mate? You don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you're just doing what you're told? Yeah, I'm just going to tell them why you're here. That's all. Well, my friend, do you know when the, do you know when the video goes online to, to get the change implemented? Yeah. The whole conversation that we've just had will be included. So, when you have things like this happening, sometimes you do need to be a little bit abrupt because he was just about to say, oh, we've got no idea who put them there. We suspect it's Amazon. But then he says, they're a pain in the ass when people park there. So, I highly suspect that this whole area, graphic packaging, do not want Amazon trucks parking in front of their business. So, that's not very fair, is it? Just because you pay your business rates, you pay your road tax for your vehicles, you do not decide, you do not block a whole road from other people being able to park where they want. But you will have noticed there, security had no SIA license. Security did not deal with the threat or even ask the potential threat any questions, it was left to a manager to come out. Surely it's security's job to question the people that are looking suspicious. Isn't that what you employ them for? To be the public facing role? So there are no parking restrictions at all on this road. As you can see, going round the corner, where I'm standing now, all the way down, no parking restrictions at all, so why should they restrict when no restrictions exist? Hello. Hiya. Hello. One of my colleagues just said um, you were asking about the cones. I'll tell you why they're here. Because about 18 months ago, we had to put them cones down there because all the Amazon vans were parking up here. The lorries parked down here. And then when our lorries, because we got obviously a transport company there as well, they couldn't get down the road because they were parking up on the pavements, blocking both sides, and then you couldn't get the lorries to park. So that's why we put them down there. This factory's been here the best part of 20 years now. And these ones were also put, these have been here for years. All right, and maybe they shouldn't be there, but the, right, the thing is when the lorries come out, if a lorry's parked here, they can't turn and get down there. So just in case you were wondering why they were there. Any, any parking restrictions that are in place must go through the correct channels. You can't just take the lorry into your own no, hands. I, do you know what? I agree with that. But we've also, I know since the business has been here, we've spoken to the councils, we've spoken to the police about putting double yellow lines down there, stop it, and they don't do anything. Yeah. So, but if we hadn't have done this, we can't get vehicles in and out. Yeah. So, you know, by all means, if someone wants to come and tell me we can't do something, but they need to put something in place to enable us to run the business, you know. Like I say, it's been here like 20 years. And then the Amazon guy is so inconsiderate, especially when you get to the Christmas period. Yeah, it's, it's awful. Yeah, I do sympathise with yeah. you, but there are also Amazon drivers or even non-Amazon drivers, they want somewhere to park like this, and it, there is nowhere. No. So you're taking away but, parking. So how, which, do you, how do I get a lorry out of there? Well, yeah, if that's a problem for you, yeah. it needs to go through the correct channels. You can't take the lorry into your own hands. Done it all before. So I can see both sides of the story, right? But do you know when people- so where are you from? I'm from YouTube. Does that make sense? Yeah. So people come to me to say, we want to park there, but we can't because graphic packaging have put cones there in the selfish reason because they don't want people parking there for their own selfish reasons. Well, it's not selfish reasons. Well, that's your view. They're entitled to their view. They want to park here and you, you're not letting them. You've got, Amazon, you've got an Amazon around the corner there. It's probably the size of a couple of football pitches. You want to make sure you get me in the view so you, is that we keep stepping back. Yeah. And then around the corner, there's another Amazon over there. So that's where they park up and down here. They turn around in there where they shouldn't do. The electrical cabinet box down the back there, 
They go around the back of there and use it as a toilet. All the drivers and the Amazon guys leave their rubbish down here. So if you see somebody urinating in public... I've been round to, um, I've you, already been round to Amazon, told them. I, you, I know what no, to do. What I'm saying, my friend, is you need to get the evidence and submit that to the correct people. Get their reg, get their face, go through the correct channels with things. You can't just p take the law into your own anyway, hands. Anyway, look, these cones have been here for years. These cones will be removed. If they are your property and you do want to keep them, I suggest you take well, them in. I don't suggest you remove them. If someone's going to remove them, I suggest the police or the council come down and have a discussion with us. If this is your property and you want to retain ownership of your property, I wouldn't leave these out overnight. I don't suggest you or anybody else moves these unless they bring the police up here and the council. Well, I'm not going to get into an argument. Ring the police you. because these, no, will be, these will be getting who's removed. Going to, who's going to remove them? Who's going to remove them? Who put them there? We put them in. You should remove them. I'm not going to remove them. You have decided to restrict parking. Have you got a card? Because I think I, I, I do need to speak to the authorities about you as well. Then. Go ahead. Well, yeah, but I don't know who you are. I'll wait. No, I'm not going to ring them now. I just want to know who you are. So at least when we start having a discussion with the with whoever the authorities, at least I'll be able to say who you are. Because I don't know who you are. Okay. But you know who I am. I'm the park manager at Graphic Packaging. Tony, are you telling me, Tony, that you accept responsibility for putting these cones here? Yeah. Okay, thank you, Tony. Yeah, I'm just a member of the public. I will remain anonymous. I'm here to get the evidence and to make a change in the public interest. Okay. So it, it might not benefit the company, but if you do want to restrict parking, there are correct channels to follow. If this is what you want to do on YouTube, then you go ahead. I'm, I'm, go I'm just working, that's all. I'm just working. Well, nothing personal, Tony, nothing honestly. Personal, I know. I don't, I don't, look, it's not personal. Do you know at night time, Tony, when members of the public are walking down this footpath and they can't see the string, not only are you, have you put cones there, but you've put a string across in between the cones. At night, this area is not lit, is it? I'm not going to get into an argument. Health and safety is very important. Yeah. But yeah, right. what's health important to you? Very, health and safety is very important. And it's very important that people take uh, some consideration up here as well. And it's like you saying about, I should go to the right authorities. We've, had, we've asked for double yellow lines down here. We've contacted the police before and the council. And nothing's been done. And at the end of the day, we are trying to make that as safe as we can for vehicles and people. You can't get two lorries. Can I give you some advice? Do you know if, there is a, if there's vehicles parking to the left and to the right, and you, you're telling me you cannot get a vehicle through, at that moment in time, there's an obstruction of the highway. That's a criminal offence. Whichever vehicle is in the wrong, the police will come and deal with it. If it becomes an ongoing problem for the police, then you'll get your double yellows. You've got to make noise the correct way. Doing things like this, you're just going to get members of the public okay. against you. you and that, um, okay. That's where... Anyway, I, I'll, I'll need to get back in there. I understand that. Thank you for your time. So that was Tony. He has got a point, you know, when there are vehicles parked on both sides, it does make the turn a little bit harder. But this is how wide the road is. You know, it's a good distance. Vehicle park there, vehicle park there. You've still got a bit of space in the middle. And, uh, well, if the local authority decide that double yellows are required, then double yellows will be put down. But right now there are none parking is in very short supply around this area so do you want a key ring mate oh. no he's fine what's your first name glenn, glenn. nice to meet you glenn thank you, thank you. we won't uh, tell glenn <laughs> what's happening leave glenn out of it we appreciate the viewers so yes, the time has come to get the drone out. Let's see what this place looks like from above. So as always, we have checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. Graphic Packaging International. Well, let's have a look at you then. So you've, you've been here for a very, very long time. And since Amazon moved in, next door you have been constantly obstructed in your opinion with their trailers parked both sides of this road 
But it's not just Amazon, is it? It's these guys here, look. These guys that just need to have their brake by law and they just want somewhere to park. Well, you've blocked off the whole of this area. Now, this area, with it being a corner, no one in their right mind is gonna to wanna to park there. But once you have straights, these guys do need to take their break somewhere. And they really, really would appreciate it if you did not put them cones out to restrict them. If there's no double yellows, then thought and consideration has gone into that decision. And the drivers come in, in and out of your business. They are professionals, they're very high skilled. They do know how to maneuver their vehicle through tight gaps. And like I said to you, if it becomes a obstruction of the highway, call the police. So a few bays there, lots of their own fleet. So they are a very big company, look. Graphic packaging, lots of trailers. Nice aerodynamics on them. Absolutely humongous building with a couple of extensions. Temporary extensions there. This is the trailer that we zoomed in through the fence. A and A recycling. I think they're doing pallets, aren't they? Recycling pallets. And a fair number of cars in the car park, which reinforces the size of the company. So I've not even been on their website because they're only a packaging company, so you can imagine what they do. Look at all the cars, wow. Lots of people inside doing something. Some extraction there, so maybe cut in as well, guillotine. And some fancy windows to let the light in, into the warehouse or into the factory. But that's it, a very, very short drone flight here at Graphic Packaging. They do have a very nice image and having trailers parked outside goes against that, I guess. But we've seen both sides of the story. You can make your own mind up. Let's get the 360 degree photo for Google Maps and wrap this one up. And that was Graphic Packaging, the company here in Colville that have admitted to restricting the parking to the members of the public on the public highway to benefit themselves. They made a decision, a selfish decision to do that because they didn't get anywhere with the council or the police. Well, try harder, make more noise. Let the lorry drivers have somewhere to have their break, park overnight. It's in the council's hands, not yours. The location of the DJ Audits queuing is just behind here. We are being watched, so it is just there, look. Behind the fire hydrant locator sign, bang opposite. And I'm gonna leave that one there. So from graphic packaging, if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.